<clears throat> Hello. Today is January 3rd, 2012. The Republicans have just had their first caucus in Iowa. I think Mick Romney and Santorum tied probably with a percentage as far as the polls are going. And um, Ron Paul, 21% I understand, he's close, but uh, since the other guys are tied, then that puts him in second place. <laughs> but Michelle Obama from Minnesota, the state that I'm from, I understand she got 5%. And since the news media from Minnesota was in Iowa, they gave her a chance in Minnesota to make her little speech. And as I said then, listen to it. I was about to puke. She personifies all, I believe, what conservative Republicanism is all about. Founding fathers, taking back our country. We don't want, she took, what, 4,000 4, or 40,000 people to Washington to tell Barack Obama, we don't want socialized medicine. All of this old junk. Take our country back. And I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I just couldn't stay in the bed. I had to get up and see if I could make this presentation to you. Because if that woman got balls enough to stand up and say all that ugly, nasty, stinking stuff, then I should be able to just come back out here and tell you some stuff that's on my mind. I understand she got 5%. And granted, Last, and last November, when I ran for mayor of this city, Woodbury, Minnesota, I didn't get but 3%. So the message that I'm going to share with you was liked even less than that message that that girl is talking about. But let me tell you, she says, I found him father. That's what they talk about. I talk about the creator father, God. She says that our founding fathers didn't want us to have. They gave us a system that didn't, did not include socialized health care. Well, I don't know nothing about no socialized health care. This is what I know. I know that health care comes from God. And God put all these people on this earth, and it's not a single person. I don't care, black, white, man, woman, or child. If you're sick, you need some health care. If you got some money, you buy it, you poll, you get it free. So if nobody wants you to have it free, make sure you got some money in your pocket. Set your system up so you can afford to pay for it. Because God says you got health care. He sent it. And I think that any fool that tells you that you can be sick and ain't got no health care is, is, is anti-God. Start talking about what we want. Here's a people, a founding fathers that they took away women's rights. Didn't even have, allow them to have rights that we got today came over here and took the land that belonged to other people, turned another nation of people into slaves, turned poor white people out to trash, a whole nation of aristocrats. You got some money, you somebody. You, you don't have any money, but somebody gave you some money to come in, so you somebody, and anybody else is nobody. And they are pushing that stuff across this country. And you know what? They are getting real, I guess I would say, at least a billion dollars to push that message across this country. All I can do is push my little message right here on YouTube and the social media and hope that some of you guys are smart enough to wake up. Smart enough to wake up. I don't know what she's talking about, but I know that God who made you and put everything here for us knew that you, that every human being on this earth should have, at least he provided for them to have food, clothing, and shelter. Every last one of us, I don't care what our system did, set up by some men. Men who didn't give a darn about black people or women or Indians or poor people. How can, you, how can you sit up there in front of a people and tell people the stuff that she's talking about and other conservative Republicans are talking about? God wanted to make sure that everybody had food, clothing, and shelter. That everybody had education and the best education. Nobody's education, educational pursuit is more important than that of another. I don't care if you're trying to be a doctor, you're trying to be a ditch digger. Your education is just as important as others and no less important. God wanted to make sure 
that in order to, put, to meet all the needs that all these people would want, that he instilled in each individual something that they can do to contribute to make sure that the reservoir would be overflowing so that no people would lack a doggone thing. And you got people out there talking about taking back our country, our country, our country. When you had people out there slaving, slaving in this doggone country from them founding fathers who didn't have a dime, whose families were separated, children sent here, mother sent there, daddy sent there, it, and they were treated less than animals, and they talking about what the founding fathers wanted? What happened to this God? And that doesn't infuriate me. What tears me up more than even that is that you got Christian people out there pushing this crap, pushing this crap, people who talking about God pushing this crap. And other folks who might not be pushing this crap who will not say one thing against it. Black or white. And if you're black, you might say something about it, but you're not doing anything about it. And if you're white and saying something about it, you are not doing anything about it either. So you are a hypocrite. And I sit here, and I go out here, and I can't get one dollar to make sure. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, and let me tell you this, and I want to tell you this. And I want you to listen to me, because and I want, it's clear. I want you to get it clear. Health care for everybody in this country. Education for everybody in this country. And careers of choice for everybody in this country is the easiest thing that anybody can do. It is so doggone easy that it's easy as pouring water down out of a spout or drinking water out of a glass is that that is just that easy. And people got you thinking, these hypocrites, these people who are led by anti-God got you, got the rest of the nation thinking that it's a complicated matter. That if you over here, you are better than these over here. And nobody should be able to make, try to make these over here who are less. And they're only less because man said it. Nobody has the right to try to lift these people up and make them as important as the others because that's not supposed to be. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. Martin Luther King came here, he said, he could think of no better time that he would rather have lived than the time that he did live so that he could play a major role in the things that he did. And I wished I could say the same thing. But after 33 years of sitting here, I mean, it's one thing to try to get somebody to vote because the founding father said you could. It's another thing trying to get people to live like God wanted to live. I mean, I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll tell you just like I have experienced it. It's some human, <laughs> human beings. I can understand why some people like animals better than they do human beings. Because human beings are low down, they are dirty, most of them as ignorant as ignorant can be. But that's no reason to put them down. Let a man be ignorant. Let a man be stupid, but don't you follow suit. Let a man be crazy. Let a man be a killer, but don't you follow suit. Let other man take, but you give. Let other man hate, but you love. And don't you let no hate take away your ability to love. Don't you let no ignorant-ass politician come up with any proposal that would rob you and your friends, and your family, and your neighbors, and your sisters and brothers of what God has given to you. I tell you, I have not heard one Republican that was decent in his heart. Man that came closest was, was Ron Paul. And there are some things that he's indecent about. So I'm not looking at any of these politicians. I'm not looking at the founding fathers. I'm looking at one thing. I'm looking at the maker of this universe. And I'm looking at the needs that people have. And if they got the needs and the maker had provided for it, they should have it. And it had sucker that comes around and try to deny anybody of anything. I guarantee you gonna have a lot of trouble in this earth realm of life. Now, I say that, I don't know if it'll be in this life and another life or what kind of life, but i tell you one thing. Ain't nobody going where my master is. Nobody's going where my God is who thinks like that. And if you think like that today and I see you 
up there with the master, I will know that you changed your way of thinking because that kind of crap is not going to get you there. So what am I saying? I'm saying you Republicans, you conservatives, Republicans, and what they call Christian conservatives, all of you guys are just as strung out as anybody on dope. Hair on. And you were Democrat? You would know better. I'm pissed off right now because I've been hearing months and months of this Democratic, I mean, this Republican trash. And as soon as Barack Obama come out of there talking that Democratic stuff and all those people trying to sell that bull, I'll be talking the same thing against the Democrats. Because, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm trying to tell you is the Democrats don't give a damn about you. The Republicans don't give a damn about you. Nobody gives a damn about you but God. And I'm not saying that I give a damn about you, but I'm doing what God is telling me to do. And that's to tell you that nobody gives a damn about you but God. And if you want some peace, if you want some prosperity, if you want some joy in your life, you better turn to God. And when I'm talking about turning to God, I'm not talking about like all these different churches. I'm not talking about Methodist, Baptist, and all this Catholic and all that kind of stuff. They, that's why the world the way it is today, because those crooks. But you better open up your own heart. You better realize that the things that are important to everybody are those same doggone things that are important to you. And if your needs have been provided for, or you want them to be provided for, then everybody on earth, not just America, but everybody on earth, are entitled to have their needs and desires and wants met just like you. And for you to sit over there and flap your lips talking about you should have yours and trying to find a way to talk down other people. Boy, boy, boy. <laughs> I don't think I can say it more now. I think you got, you got what I mean, folks. Bye.